should this be a future warning to our reigning monarch, King Charles III, about his youngest son, the former royal known as Prince Harry? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. I hope you're well. Thank you, as ever, for your lovely comments, as I say about a lot of the videos. Some people have been asking me, Neil, you've met so many stars. Are there any stars that you didn't get to meet? You know, well, of course, so many, you know, when you think about it. A lot of the greats, people like Cary Grant, you know, I thought he was suave and debonair. Randolph Scott, people like that. They were big names and they all looked the part, didn't they? Behind that, though, I was lucky enough to meet people that did know these people. So by sort of, you know, if you want connection, you get to know about them. One of them, in fact, was the comedian we mentioned the other day, Mike and Mike and Bernie Winters fame. Apparently, Cary Grant, when they were in uh, pantomime in Bristol, came along to see them, right? Can you imagine Cary Grant coming to see you in pantomime? That was the deal. They had a lovely lunch, long chat, all that sort of stuff. And the bottom line was, of course, fans know Cary originally did come from the beautiful county of Bristol. So, you know, obviously back there to see his family and friends, popped into the local theatre. Strange connection, you see. Back as ever, though, to your breaking roll story of the day. As we now know, lots of people are very concerned about the imminent or non-arrival of, of course, the former royals known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for the coronation. They saw, I think, you know, exactly how badly treated, uh, you know, they came across, uh, should I say, not treated, but how badly received they were by lots of people for the Platinum Jubilee. And the bottom line is people were more deferential then because, of course, our late monarch was still with us. And when they were still there, of course, for the late Queen's funeral, people are certainly not going to boo and hiss and say things negatively in such a public domain, clearly. But this time around, things are different, you know. People feel very aggrieved, particularly all thanks to Prince Harry's book and, of course, the docuseries. But now I can tell you, first and exclusively on the show, while Harry and Meghan, and this is a joint collective, remember, were looking to re-release the paperback version of Spare with added chapters. The publishers now are saying, look, let's hold off to see exactly what develops with regards to the forthcoming coronation. Now, from a marketing point of view, this makes perfect sense. If you think about it, whether Harry attends or not, there's a big story there. He can detail no, no doubt in laborious chapters to a ghostwriter about his feelings, why he didn't attend or why he did attend or what happened if he did attend. You get the picture. They see this as a very big money spinner. And the bottom line is if he put the book out too early, which normally when you put a hardback out, the paperback follows around about four months later. But given the fact, and this is incredible and I have to share this with you, that the book is still selling incredibly well around the world, truly is doing well for the, peg, uh, the publisher's Penguin Random House. You can understand why they're reticent to throw away possibly yet another gold mine of Prince Harry if he adds more chapters, particularly if they're of the salacious count. Now, whatever people say, nobody truly knows whether, of course, the ex-royals want to come. Most people over here in the United Kingdom would rather they didn't, so it doesn't take the focus and shine off what should be a spectacular and historical day for King Charles and the rest of the British monarchy. But as ever with Harry and Meghan, they're looking at the big bottom dollar, aren't they? And as ever, if they feel he could make some money, and as ever we have to say allegedly, then they would not miss the opportunity to detail in great detail exactly their thoughts, good and bad, about that forthcoming coronation. What a strange world Harry lives in right now, don't you think? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.